Ahora ya no Ecco, ecco. So this is my hotel room. At this point, I was still staying at the place called Soy Local, and it's in a really cool location because it's really right in the middle of El Poblado, and you have Provenza next door, which has lots of <clears throat> restaurants and bars really good restaurants too and then just a couple more blocks down then you have Parque Eras which is like a big nightlife hub with lots of clubs. The view from the terrace is really beautiful and it's nice because uh, that room happened to have a balcony but some of the rooms don't and I always like to have a room with a balcony that I'm staying in so that uh, because I'm like working on the computer most of the day, so I don't like to pe feel like all stuffed up. So I love to have a bal uh, balcony and usually work on it. So the terrace there was like a lifesaver. Like most of the time I'd be up there working, eating with Echo, and yeah, it was really nice. They also had uh, free coffee at the place too. So just having a coffee on the rooftop and working. So today we're gonna be exploring Pueblito Paisa with my friend Danny which is in Belen uh, neighborhood of Medellin. And you're gonna see it's basically a small replica. That's what uh, Pueblito Paisa means. It's just like a small Paisa town. Paisa being like the culture, the local cu culture of the area around Medellin. So the people are called Paisas. And uh, they're known for being very uh, kind and kind of cute and stylish. And uh, so it's a replica from around the time of the early 1900s of a typical uh, colonial style town. So you're gonna see it's really beautiful. And I'm gonna show you guys some drone views also when we get to the top. Another thing that's often said about the Paisas is their passion for when they're speaking. So basically the intonations that they use and everything makes it sound like no matter what they're saying, it's something very exciting and interesting. Like they could be telling the most simple story about what happened to them during the day, but they use such passion in the intonations of their voice that it makes everything they sound really exciting. So it's kind of fun to talk with them and they have a really interesting accent as far as Latin American Spanish goes.
Rachel. What? Rachel. The walkway? Really? Yeah, the view looks pretty sick from here though. See, now it's fucking working perfectly. I don't know what it is. It has like a mind of its own. Gimbal? Yeah, like now it's like no, no problem. I don't know. Yeah, so you woke up on the right side of the bed this time. But yeah, what do you think? You wanna head up or no? He wants to go down. <laughs> yeah, he wants to fucking explore. Yeah. Good, good, right? Really? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I guess we just try to pick but the I best still one. Want that, that uh, I left Medellin. With Echo. Oh yeah. I almost totally forgot about that. Get that. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see from the video, we kind of ended up getting a little bit lost and making our way to the top because I think we came in the wrong side and you can see uh, the entrance was closed, but it worked out because we ended up finding a cool place uh, to explore and take some of those drone shots like you saw. So here we're finally entering the actual Pueblito Paisa area on the top of the hill and you can see a lot of food vendors as we're coming in and here you can see the actual like main uh, replica of what would be like a town square with the church which is very typical in uh, basically all Latin American uh, pueblos or towns they usually have a town square that looks exactly like that I've visited many of them and they always have a church right in the middle also So what you see there, what I ordered is called a picada, which is really typical Colombian. And it's basically a combination of like just meat and meat, like almost every meat you can imagine. So I love meat, so it's really good. Um, and you can see it has a little bit of like avocados and rice and everything also. Um, it was so big, it was really big. I didn't end up finishing it and Echo had to help me finish it actually. So you saw that beer is called Aguila, which means eagle, and it's one of the most popular beers in Colombia. It's really popular, and it's pretty good. You've got some vendors selling souvenirs and stuff, but this is really a good replica of a typical Latin American uh, town square, like down to everything, the rock on the floor right there that you see, and the tiling in front of the church. Um, everything it looks just like that architecture and it's really beautiful. You'll see in a future video I go to some of these towns and you'll get an even better look and kind of a uh, better feel because obviously it's not just replicas, they're the real deal. So that's the video for today. It's a short one, but honestly, Pueblito Paisa is really cool and it's worth a visit. But 
uh, there's not really a whole lot to do or see. So it's going to be a quick stop. You, you can just go for, you know, maybe two hours, get some food and look around. But come back soon because we're going to have some more really cool videos coming ASAP. And we're going to keep exploring a lot more of Colombia. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and send this to anybody who you think might like it.